Hello everyone, Looney Cat here. And yes, I am tardy to the party about talking about this, but as you can tell by the video, this video um, is going to be a little important and it may affect the future of my YouTube channel. So, as you guys know, well, everyone and their grandpa knows about the whole COPA incident, well, the COPA situation. If you don't know, which I highly doubt, just to recall, basically, since you two want to be kid-friendly, they have violated the rules, well, the laws of the FTC. And the FTC was like, what the fish? No, boo-boo. You in hot water now. You want to get sued? So yeah, basically, YouTube is in hot water, and since YouTube wants to be in hot water, we're all lobsters in this boiling pot. So yeah, since YouTube is in hot water, we're all in hot water. So basically, um, there you're, it's required for um for the content cre creator to to tell if their um content is child friendly or not. And I see that as like very vague and very broad, and they're like saying like you know. If it's not kid friendly, but it has kid friendly characters, you're gonna get fined like four thousand four thousand dollar fee. And I'm like, boo boo, who? Boo boo, what? Who's gonna pay that? Not me. No, no sir, no ma'am. Who? Me? <laughs> Please. But yeah, um, and this is like very broad because they're like, oh, um, your content can't have any, can't have anything that appeals to kids, and like. That's the question, like, well, almost anything and everything appeals to kids. Like, hello, there are, like, M-rated video games that appeals to kids. So, what are you talking about? But anyways, um, and as you guys know, you know, everyone's talking about, like, how it's going to affect, you know, content creators, um, and, you know, so many, like, creators on YouTube, um, and now, originally, when I heard about this, I was worrying. I was getting, like, a little worried. I was getting shaky. I was like, oh, my God, what am I going to do? But then, like, later on, I was like, you know what? I'm not even going to worry about it. Because, like, first of all, I'm not going to, like, enter the new year. No, the new decade worrying about YouTube's BS. Like, that's just not happening, boo-boo. I'm not going to be stressing out because YouTube went like a fool. Because, like, n like, here's a little rant. I'm going to be ranty over here. No one told YouTube to be child friendly because, honey boo boo, YouTube is for 13 and up. Why y'all trying to be kid friendly for a website that's for 13 and up? I don't get it. And like, we like many videos, many content creators are like saying, we're not kid friendly, we're not kid friendly, but YouTube's not listening. They, they just, they just, they just, they want to be pompous, they want to be egocentric, they want to think we know bodies. And we don't know what we're talking about. Well, guess what? Now you're hot. You're now you're in boiling hot water with the FTC. And now since you're in trouble, you got everyone in trouble. So I hope you're happy, YouTube. But yeah, I'm not really stressing about about it that much. Um, about the future of my YouTube channel. Uh, I've been thinking now. Like when I originally thought about it, it kind of sad at me because. <sighs> I'm thinking about, you know, deleting um, all the videos that have, like, profanity in it or, like, mild cursing in it just to, like, delete those. And, that like, it kind of saddens me. Not really. Well, it kind of does because, you know, you know, I, I, I enjoy those videos. I enjoy, like, making those videos and, you know, just, like, deleting something that I actually, like, enjoy is just, like, ew. But then uh, I came up with a smart idea that I plan on um, uh, uh, recording those videos with the software I use is Mobizen. That's FYI what I use to make my voiceovers. Yay. But uh, what I plan on doing is record those videos with the profanity and upload them to a different website. I don't know where. Probably on my Instagram, probably on MeWe, probably on Twitter. I don't know. But yeah, that's what I'm planning on doing. Just like, you know, deleting them from YouTube. But before I delete them from YouTube, record all the videos with profanity, uh, with Mobizen, and then upload them somewhere else, and then delete them on YouTube. Um, yeah. And, <coughs> excuse me, also... I just been thinking, you know, like also actually this has been 
um, a thought of mine that, you know, like, um, in 2020, like, I, I wasn't planning on, like, stopping YouTube, but I, I wasn't really, like, planning on, like, doing as much, you like, as much YouTube videos as, like, I'm used to doing, you know? Like, kind of take a break here, break there, like, I'm talking about month-long breaks, um, not being as active on YouTube, um, towards the next year, the new decade, uh, because, like, I'm starting to focus on, you know, uh, my career of being a writer. I'm trying to, like, pay more attention to that. Also, pay more attention to life. Ugh. And also, um, you know, YouTube, like, it's fun and all. But, like, I don't want to be, like, you know, juggling, you know, what to do, what to do. You know, write this story first. Oh, no, work on this, work on that, then work on this YouTube video. And, you know, I don't want to be, like, all juggling all things at once. So, like, you know, my original plan for, like, the next year was, just, like, take a little break from YouTube here and there. So, in conclusion, the future of my YouTube channel, will it continue? Maybe. I mean, like I said, I don't plan on, like, towards the new year, I don't plan on making um, as many videos as often. And I'm not in, but I will like stay on YouTube to watch like other people's videos, like Rascal and Bennett. I will still be there to support y'all because y'all are awesome. But um, making videos on my own is gonna, it's gonna, it's gonna be a while or two. But like this isn't just because of the COVID thing. I've been thinking about this for like oh, quite a while now. Um, so yeah, um, yeah. So I'm not deleting my YouTube channel. Thank goodness. And I'm not quitting YouTube, thank goodness. It's just that, you know, just, you know, like I said. <coughs> so, yeah, that's it, everybody. Just wanted to get that off my chest. Oh, and also, uh, Remy's Revenge Part 2. That's coming soon. Don't know how soon, because oh, I have to deal with finals and with writing, because I'm in a writing competition. I have to work on that story, get that done. Also, I have to work on some Christmas videos. Not many, because... Well, I'll think about it. I can improvise. Oh my god, I just had a thought right there. But yeah, um... Yeah, Remy, Remy, uh, stay tuned for Remy's Revenge 2. I know it's a plot line that y'all not following, but like... Let me finish what I've started, even though it's not even like as successful as I thought it would be in my mind. Whatever, time to finish why I start with Remy Revenge Part 2. Stay tuned for that. Please do. Um, and I may or may... Um, well, no, I may. I will make Christmas videos. And stay tuned for my fifth anniversary video. Oh, I said too much. <laughs> Anyways, that's all, everyone. Uh, Y'all stay blessed. Y'all stay safe. And I need to go to bed because I got school tomorrow. <laughs> okay, bye-bye.